Hey Saggy, welcome to your February reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you. I hope that you're having an awesome day. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month of February. See what you need to look out for, what you can expect, get you some insight, some guidance. Overall, see what is going on for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. But yeah, Saggy, let's get into your reading and let's see what Spirit has to tell you or what is coming your way for Sagittarius in February 2024. What, what do my Saggies need to know? What do my Sagittarians need to be aware of? Okay, so you got a little bit of a stack here. We have the Phoenix, we have the Elk, and we have the Lion. Whoa, you are just on fire, Sag you are on fire it's making me think of that song this girl is on fire you know that, that fucking song um you're on fire sag let's get it let's talk so phoenix to the elk to the lion you have heavy masculine energy that you are tapping into or that you are embodying or maybe this is representing somebody around you a heavy masculine influence but this is really a time where you are taking action okay you are walking your talk you are making things happen you are a man with the plan okay it doesn't matter what you identify as but you have a plan and you're going to make it happen it's solidifying this this month it's really coming to fruition um you're taking this very serious too so yeah um phoenix is all about releasing letting go of the dead weight from the past burning bridges if you need to cutting ties if you need to freeing yourself from karmic situations lessons cycles attachments um this can be talking about things that you've been struggling with internally that you've really had a difficult time making peace with or releasing or you know it could talk about things going on externally in your life relationships work anything else that's like outside of you that is negatively impacting you it's like this month or these next couple of weeks you are finding the strength you're finding the courage to really let that go and leave it in the past and leave it behind you and really just it feels really free i get the image of um like unzipping a layer you know like if it's as if it's really cold and you dress up in a bunch of layers and then you walk into a building maybe you're going to the mall and now you're hot as fuck because it's hot inside and so now you got to strip down some layers but you feel a lot lighter you feel a lot cooler you feel um more you can move easily i don't know if you know you know like if you live in a colder climate or you have dealt with like winter that's been pretty nasty you know what i'm talking about where it's like you're dressed in layers it can be very difficult to move it can be kind of uncomfortable um and it's just kind of like the the freedom that you feel by taking off those layers or you come home and you're able to just strip all those layers off and you can just be comfortable and like you know that's the vibe i'm getting with this phoenix is like you're stripping back layers you're freeing yourself you feel lighter you feel freer you can move easily maybe that's even physically some of you there's some stuff going on physically but you're you're seeing improvements or um over these next couple of weeks you're finally like free from whatever that trouble was um but the elk coming out here it's like you are also taking like responsibility and accountability for your actions and maybe things that you did or things that you could have done or just like you're you're definitely acknowledging your part in this you're definitely aware of it and like you're just you're taking action you are showing up as someone who's reliable someone who's dependable someone who really means what they say you show up consistently for yourself and others um and so you're just you're really just walking your talk you walk in your talk and you mean business so then we have the lion this for me always makes me think of like leo energy right maybe you're dealing with a leo maybe there's a leo in your life we you got leo placements but maybe i'm picking up on a leo cross watcher too who knows right but the lion is someone who is highly respected so sag this is like you're being respected for your efforts for your you're just your high value you know you have high expectations that you put on yourself but you you always achieve them or you always do a really good job and like you respect yourself 
And there are others that respect you. There are others that see this. There's other people that admire these qualities about you. The way that you carry yourself, the way that you speak highly of yourself and others. I don't know. It's just like you're gaining respect this month. You're gaining respect. You are ch even with the dragonfly at the bottom. Dragonfly in the reverse. I normally don't read these cards in the reverse, but you could your other people's opinions on you could be changing this month or like something that you're doing you're changing other people's minds, especially with the sea serpent underneath that. And all of a sudden, we go from like this red, hot, hot energy to like these cool colors. Sea serpent, blue, butterfly. This is more kind of blue. Obviously, there's a little bit of red, but it's just like there, there. See, this feels like an alternate energy. This feels more feminine here. And the sea serpent does rule the feminine, the mother, whereas the elk and the lion really represent the father even the elk we have the sun the solar energy and the sun is the father the sun is the masculine the moon is the feminine we don't have the moon in this reading at all but i just it's interesting how at the bottom of the deck there is this more like watery feminine a little actually air it's interesting because we have more air but also there's like this water element coming through with the sea serpent it's very watery whereas the phoenix is more fiery so there's like opposites maybe there's something about opposites attract you're attracting your opposite or there's like there's this balancing taking place there's a huge transformation as well that you're going through it's um something that's been in the process or something you keep coming back to or i'm seeing hummingbird to the frog there's an emotional I'm hearing attachment there's like an emotional attachment that or something you keep finding yourself falling back into and like it, it's like temporarily like self soothes you or like it, if it it um it makes you feel good temporarily but it's always fleeting like something about this this is a different energy there's something that's always fleeting but or was that's the thing it was it seems like because the action that you're taking over these next couple of weeks with the horse as well at the bottom you're taking some sort of action so that you're solidifying something you need to pay attention because your intuition could be suggesting to you sag over these next couple of weeks to cool off or to take a step back or like your intuition it is guiding you towards taking some sort of action when you're ready for it when you have the green light some of you there's still some loose ends you need to tidy up some of you there's still some things from your past that you're working through some of you there's still those attachments that are lingering but that phoenix energy is helping you clear and cut or sever whatever ties or cords or things that are just creating stagnancy in your life um that's how you are going to kind of wash it all away here with the sea serpent i'm kind of getting the image of like you know cleaning a window like a muddy dirty window you can't see and finally you can see once you clean it it's like that that's how this sea serpent energy feels as you get it feels like um like the veil is lifting or something's becoming more crystal clear and that's what the the dragonfly actually talks about something becoming more crystal clear more straightforward more evident like it's it's there it's obvious it's it makes sense so i mean it's some intense stuff sag it's some intense stuff let's get into the tarot and let's get the specifics of what is really taking place over these next couple of weeks anything that you may need to look out for be aware of any insight of what's going on for sagittarius or whoever's listening whoever's tuning into this message what do they need to hear right now what is coming towards sagittarius what's coming towards you I mean, oh wow, whoa, that was a that was a fail of a shuffle. <laughs> that was such a fail of a shuffle, but whatever. Okay, maybe that's a sign to stop. I'm going to. Um, look at what's at the bottom before I start pulling. We have the devil at the bottom. So what did I say? Negative attachments. Um, <sighs> things that have power or control over you. Things that you have trouble resisting. That you end up giving yourself away to. That maybe isn't the best for you what's underneath the devil the six of pentacles there's something that needs to be neutralized is what i hear something needs to be neutralized balanced out okay there's a okay and underneath that ace of pentacles there is an opportunity to neutralize or bring harmony three of pentacles in the chair do you have an opportunity to bring harmony or neutralize a situation that's gone to acidic <laughs> that's go that's right acid it like eats away there's something here that's been decaying what is this this is deep okay show me more what's going on for sagittarius 
yeah there's something that's been like almost decaying your soul or your energy or just like but you have there's an opportunity or there's a, a new way or a new path that's becoming available for you Sag that's helping you restore and replenish revitalize something here we have the moon maybe it's around the full moon in Virgo maybe I'm, okay I'm gonna pull you a moonology card but there's something about the full moon in Virgo that's on the 24th it's coming up it's very soon um this weekend right like <laughs> pretty, pretty damn sure uh let me actually hold on let me look at my calendar real quick yeah literally a Saturday so kind of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, those will be the peak days, the 23rd, 25th, maybe 26th, a little bit, you know, the energy that's lingering, that's the full moon. So you guys, there is this peak of energy that you're feeling, it's intensifying, it's amplifying, you are a mutable sign, just as Virgo is a mutable sign, so you're feeling the energy, you're feeling the shift of this full moon, this full moon is awakening something within you, literally the hermit, Virgo, okay, something about this full moon in Virgo, you are finding something out now whatever it is that you're finding out seven of wands and the star <sighs> first of all whatever it is that you're finding out you might be a little bit hesitant or you might be a little bit on edge or on guard or trying to defend something or protect something or this idea trying to protect some sort of idea we have the star underneath that because like you whatever this idea is you hold a lot of faith or you hold a lot of like hope about this and so it's like i'm wondering whatever it is that you could be finding out does it does it what is it is it okay we have a seven of swords we have a six of swords there's something that you'll that's something that's going to change your mind sag i feel like something that you're under you're finding out is going to change your mind on a situation and initially you might not believe it or you might not really trust it or you might second guess it by the way sevens might be important for you seven of wands seven of swords sevens might be um an important number now let me pull you a monology card let's oh wait there's another one hold on there we go Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let me pull you a moonology card and see what about this full moon in Virgo that is important for you or what you might be finding out during this time or what could be brought to light. Show me clearly what about this full moon in Virgo for Sagittarius? What is the importance of the full moon in Virgo for my Sagittarian placements that are tuning in, that are watching? What do they need to know? And an insight for Saggy. Okay, this deck's ready. Okay. What about this full moon in Virgo? What's the relevance? What's the importance of this full moon in Virgo for Sagittarius placements? We have bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. We just had that new moon in Aquarius uh, last week, right? Or it was the 9th of February. So it's connected to that. It's connected to Aquarius season. Look, look what's at the bottom. You know, the cards don't lie. Full moon in Virgo, you are good enough. So some of you, this is relating to themes around love, receiving love, giving love. You are worthy of love. You deserve love. You are good enough. You, who you are, all your flaws and imperfections does not change the fact that you deserve love. You are lovable and love is coming in in many shapes and sizes many different forms so self-love too but love even externally but also most importantly love from within that's deep that's beautiful can we get a little bit more info of what this full moon in virgo is revealing to sagittarius show me clearly like you felt like you some of you felt like you're incapable or unable to receive or give love we have faith in your have faith in your dreams so something being illuminated on this full moon is helping you. Yeah, it's like restoring some sort of faith. It's helping something grow. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Taurus season might be important for you, Saji. Okay, that'll be um, end of April throughout May. So I know that's months, months in ahead. But it's like, it feels like there's an advancement taking place and that's going to be unfolding over the next couple of months. And this full moon in Virgo is activating that into your physical reality. Could be relating to even your money and your finances too. But um, it's, it's, I just see this full moon in Virgo is helping you work through some sort of fear. What's the fear? 
believing in the impossible. So you think something's impossible or you're thinking at this moment, some of you feel as if there's something that's impossible or not going to happen or it's not likely or you don't deserve it or you're not good enough or you don't, you know, you're not worthy of it. But that's not true. The impossible is happening. You are making the impossible possible. You know what's impossible? I'm possible. So don't tell me it's impossible when it's literally I'm possible. Like, you know, you get me? So believe in the impossible. You're going to be working through your fears as you bring love into the situation. Like, this is transformative as fuck, okay? Um, but yeah, I'll just keep those three cards. So that's good. Let's keep going. This full moon is going to be very enlightening for you um, in a positive way. I'm seeing new doors open up for you. We got new moon, new moon, okay? So there's this new path or new new energy, new vibes, new mindset. It's it's good. All right, what else is going on for Sagittarius in February 2024? Three of Pentacles flipping out at the top of the deck, but we'll keep it. So there's growth. There's plans being made. You were kind of in the dark. Mm, yeah. With the moon, you're kind of in the dark, you're kind of unsure where things were going, feeling a little bit stuck, perhaps. Three of Pentacles is showing progression. This is showing that there's action that you're taking. Now, we got Mars energy in this card. Mars is, well, I don't know, by the time this reading is up, I don't know if it's still going to be conjunct Pluto, probably not. But either way, there's a lot of amplified energy over these next couple of weeks helping us make moves mo forward forward momentum forward progression towards our dreams our goals and our desire desires i don't even speak what the fuck <laughs> you get what i'm saying though and this might be involving other people collaboration teamwork okay teamwork makes the dream work at the bottom we have the ten of swords the two of cups and the chariot i'm seeing a rough patch is being worked through you're working through some sort of rough patch with an individual could be a cancer maybe pisces or scorpio we also have some air energy out here but we have more three of cups and temperance there's this balancing of the scales there's and this is what's been illuminated around the full moon in virgo hermit underneath this three of cups so there's this positive reinforcement that's what i'm hearing reinforcement you're reinforcing something maybe it's a boundary um you're reestablishing Thing so that it can be more fair more equal and healthy so i'm seeing that there is a bit of like because of course ten of swords that's an ending card that does talk about releasing endings letting go it's pretty uncomfortable it is painful but that's it's a sign that the worst is over and it's in regards to some sort of relationship and the chariot is indicating that there's movement through the obstacles through the challenges through the speed bumps and the ups and the downs like there's progression here and this is this is kind of like clarifying the three of pentacles of what are you working on so it seems like there's some sort of improvement in a relationship or friendship partnership or connection and maybe it's the ending of the struggle between you and that person and the three of cups indicating that there's joyful celebratory times ahead so okay tell me more what's going on for sagittarius in february you could be planning or researching something. There's something about time as well. Wow, I never noticed that. Never noticed that. This dude on his wrist, he's got a watch. He's got a watch. There's something about the timelines that are shifting. Riding a new wave is what I heard. Okay, let's see. Oh, when did this, this candle just blew out? What? But it's still, it, this, okay, hold on, hold on. Um, let me just try and get this out. I'm trying not to get wax everywhere. And like, this candle is like trying to sneak its way to the back. Did I, I feel like when I shuffled it just blew out the wax. What did I say at that time? Um, where's my letter at? Oh my goodness. Sorry, Sag. Interruption. All right. All right, Saggy. You know what? This light's for you. This one's for you. I wish you so much love, light, happiness, positivity, good health, good fortune, protection, you know, stay safe, you and your loved ones, uh, just good vibes all the way around, but oh my god, <gasps> no, no, this is what I did not want to have, I spilled some wax, y'all, I'm gonna have to get a little blow dryer for that later on, oh, all right, um, my moonstone is, has been covered with some wax, 
Damn, I hope this can this candle's probably gonna burn all fucked up. But you know what? We still love it. We don't shame. Is this gonna be a problem? Sorry, oh my god. Interruption. Okay, it's it's gonna be fine. But that's kind of annoying on my end, but it is what it is. A little cleaning never hurt nobody. Um Yeah, let's just let me get free focus, Sag. So yeah, what what, what did I say? I don't remember. You're working on something. There's improvements. There's progression. Um, you're getting more clarity about this path that you're going down and what the rules are. Rules and regulations is what I'm hearing. All right. Show me clearly what's going on for Sagittarius in February 2023. Ooh, 2024. Why did I say 2023, y'all? Is there something about last year? Something that happened to you last year that's connected to this? possibly what happened in february 2023 can you recall shit i can't even remember what happened like two days ago <laughs> like, let alone a year ago i don't like what but maybe maybe last year february is very important for somebody that i'm connecting with anyways tell me what's going on for sagittarius in february 2024 10 of wands okay all right so obviously this is indicating that the work that's required it's going to require a lot of effort it's it's not going to be easy okay but wheel of fortune underneath with good effort comes good rewards okay so five of wands underneath that king of cups six of pentacles here's the thing all right here's the thing so ten of wands right you're you're carrying a lot you're juggling a lot. You're feeling a bit worn out, right? You, you're making these plans for the future, plans of improvements, plans on how to make something better, how to, what was it I said earlier? I was like, replenish, refill, whatever that acidic of like leaching, you know, that's what I was saying earlier. So it's like you're finding ways to kind of, it's like patchwork. There's something about patchwork, okay? So it's not the most clean. It's not going to be the most clean. It's not going to be the most effortless, but it's going to help mend, build, bridging the gap. But this Ten of Wands, right? This is this is a lot of work. This is a lot of effort. It can be very tiring, especially when it's all on your shoulders. And if this is involving other people, which it looks like it does, it's got to be balanced. Somebody's got to pick up their slack here or multiple people need to pick up their slack. Um, so it is showing, okay, so Ten of Wands, moving forwards, yeah, there's some resistance. Yeah, it, it isn't the most easiest. It's a little bumpy, I'm not gonna lie. Feeling a little tired, but, or a lot, but you know what, Wheel of Fortune, there's progress. There's, there's still showing movement. There's still showing like you're on the right track. Keep going, you know, no pay, no gain. <laughs> you're getting stronger. You are growing more just more strength okay but underneath the wheel of fortune we have the five of wands so there's still some challenges i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat it it's it's still challenging but it's halved the challenges have definitely halved itself but you're not it's like king of cups you're questioning like is this any easier because okay now it's not all on my shoulders this time it's not all on my shoulders but now that I'm sharing this, or now that other people are getting involved in this, or now that I'm kind of splitting the duties, it still feels like we're not really getting anywhere. Or this five of wands is still showing that there's like too many chefs in the kitchen, or it's like, okay, how how can you overcome this? Like, we'll, we'll see as we continue pulling more cards, but it's showing that like there's movement, but there's still some challenges. It's still... You're going to be working through it. There's a little bit of resistance, but I think, did I say it in a Sag reading before or someone's reading? Um, and I, it's just like this video that I seen where it's like you have two balls and one ball, if you roll it on just like a complete straight platform, you know, it'll get to the finish line a lot slower than the one ball that can go up and down, up and down on a platform. But it's like, it's like ups and downs of life, right? And it was, it was representing like if your life was just completely, you know, the same no challenges no problems no highs no lows 
you know, you're going to take, it's going to take a lot longer for you to get to the destination or wherever you're supposed to be or wherever you want to be versus if you go through the ups and downs, yeah, is it a little crazy? Is it a little intense or emotional or there's some hard times, but you actually get there much quicker. So it's like, you know, there, there are some ups and downs, but it's like you're getting to the desire much quicker or I won't, I'm not going to say easier. It's definitely not easier, but I hope that makes sense. Anyways, and I'm kind of seeing that some of these challenges are more emotional. They may not actually be like big deals, but yet it affects you emotionally. King of Cups to the Five of Wands. Like you, I'm seeing mixed feelings here. You're having mixed feelings about these challenges. You know that you can overcome it. You know that you can push through it. You know that you're capable. You know that you can achieve it. There's some moments, though, where you get in your head or you get very sensitive or overwhelmed. Um, and, you know, you got those mixed feelings, right? The good news is I do see Six of Pentacles. There is this balancing out, even the world. Okay, so that's good. It is showing that things are going to smoothen out. It's just going to take a little bit of buffing. <laughs> it's just going to take a little bit of patience. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see where this is headed. For Saggy, what can Saggy expect in February? Any insight for Sagittarius for the month of February? What happens next for Saggy? What can Saggy expect? Oh, okay. So we have the Magician and the Seven of Swords. Seven again coming out in your reading. Seven, seven, seven. Seven of Wands at the bottom. It's the same sevens from earlier. So it's showing here that you are moving in silence or you maybe it's saying to, to move in silence or like keep things on the down low or keep things hush hush. I would also say you may need to protect yourself from someone. If there is someone around you, I'm going to have to clarify this, huh? We don't have much time left. But if there's someone around you trying to manipulate or pull one under, my light just flashed. Maybe that's confirmation. If someone's trying to pull the wool over your eyes, you better call their ass out, okay? You seven of wands, you better defend and protect yourself or defend and protect what's yours, okay? I see that there could potentially be some sort of conflict or two of cups and then six of wands. And the seven of cups so you're questioning you have questions of someone's intentions or someone's questioning your intentions or what is being perceived versus what's the actual truth here the six of wands as a card of like recognition what you see on the surface what people see on the outside but what about what's going on on the inside right there's some, and another seven, 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 seven in this reading. If that's if you've been seeing that number, it's an extra confirmation for you. But yeah, it's showing here. It's like, what is this? Because I'm I'm getting so many different things. I'm like I'm getting I'm getting so discombobulated in my brain. In my brain, I know I haven't. I'm not even like sharing what I'm seeing here. But I'm seeing like there's someone here, six of wands, there's someone here who acts like they know it, what they got, they know what they're doing, but internally they're like, what the fuck is going on? Or like, I'm confused, or I don't really know. Like there's someone who is confused, but they're trying to pretend like they know or like that they know what they're doing. Is it the whole fake it till you make it thing? Maybe. <laughs> like, is that, is, Saj, is that you maybe? King of wands and star, fake it till you make it. There's like, and then even another thing I could read from the Six of Wands and the Seven of Cups is like questioning someone's character. Someone's character is being questioned or under, under scrutiny is what I heard, as well as like under like a magnifying glass. Like, I don't know, it's weird. Well, maybe it's not weird. It's just that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm hearing. And then the Two of Wands and the Seven of Wands, I'm seeing that there's a bit of a wall between you and someone. Maybe it's important. Maybe you do need to put up a wall between you and somebody. Um, I wish I had more time to look into it, but we're kind of running out of time, Sag. I'm so sorry. Magician and the Seven of Swords. I'm going to clarify that, and then I will have to let you go. I just want to make sure before I speak on this that I get a little bit more info of this 
Magician Seven of Swords, because that feels a little, huh, a little sneaky, but I, let's, let's not jump to conclusions. I know what the Magician Seven of Swords for Sagittarius, because this is like a mastermind. I also just heard Master Manipulator, though. This reading, I feel like I've said so many, and look, Seven of Swords at the bottom. Another seven. I feel like I've just said so many different things in this reading. I'm like, what's the storyline here? I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to just roll with it. So, Magician, Seven of Swords for Saji. The Moon. We go back to the first card. <sighs> so, there's something that your intuition is telling you about. Kind of the Magician, Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords. So you're needing to analyze some 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 sort of behavior or plan or spirit is saying that you need to take your time and really look at the details, really look at the fine print, okay? Because there is something going on. There is something that is hidden. There is something that hasn't been revealed yet. I think it's around the full moon in Virgo. And whatever this is that's in the dark, you are, you know that there's something in the dark. You know that there's something... This is what I said to Capricorn last week, that there's something lurking in the dark. So you're, you're, you're putting on those glasses, you're taking a closer look at things, and your intuition's saying, like, I need to slow down, I need to watch my step, I need to... Be a little cautious about this. Can I trust this? Do I trust myself in this position, in this direction, with this person, with this job, with this fill in the blank? Do I trust this? There's something, I don't know, there's something that's saying... Let me, let me see, two of wands, ten of wands. He read that ten of wands again, and then the two of swords, and then the nine of swords. You're overthinking a choice, Sag. You're overthinking what direction you need to go down. Six of swords to the nine of swords and the ten of pentacles i do see whatever you're moving towards here is towards stability harmony success abundance really good fortune and home and family is going to be important too i also see that all this confusion mental mental fluff mental clutter ace of swords you'll you're gonna have this shift in your perspective sooner you're gonna see things more clear than at the moment but yeah, it feels like, so there's a crossroad here. You're feeling pretty bogged down. It's getting pretty complicated. It's getting pretty heavy or it's getting, there's a lot of like challenges or resistance here. And so you'll have a choice to make about what direction you want to go down um, and where you go from here moving forward. It's, and the nine of swords, you're just kind of overthinking it when really you just need to trust and lean into your gut and tr just look at the facts. I feel here with this air energy, queen of swords, you're needing to really stick to the facts stick to what's stick to the book stick to what's right in front of you um and just knight of pentacles take your time don't rush um and just let things reveal itself to you there's things going on that are in the dark at the moment but are soon to be revealed so the best thing that you can do is trust yourself um stay try to stay positive try to stay hopeful right we had some of those cards indicating like you know it's, it's gonna work out the way it's meant to but yeah i mean that's what i got for you sag i hope that this was helpful and insightful let me know if it was leave a like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you in your next one bye saggy